What up, tubers? Zeltrax Millennium here, back with a brand new video review. Please be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I hope y'all enjoy the video. Hello, YouTubers. This is Zeltrax Millennium here, back with a brand new review for you. Now, hoping if I can still save the data this time, I am now taking on a review of Transformers Dark of the Moon Leader Class Ironhide. Now, like with my Universe Sideburn review, this toy is not mine at all. This toy was sent to me by my dear friend AB Unit 4A of CollectionDX.com. AB Unit 4A heard about my commissions and he sent me his Dark of the Moon Ironhide to customize. Now, he told me that the vehicle mode was not that huge of a deal. But, I did my best. So, yeah. The most of the vehicle mode hasn't been changed at all. Except the, uh... The, um, the exhaust pipes here. The keyhole dot right there. The, uh, orange lights on the sides. The accurate lights in the back here. And I actually painted the Autobot symbol right here in a... Yeah, that, that's, that's not it. In a black metallic. And it's the exact same on the other side. But yeah, thanks to me uh, using a clear coat, the windshield is actually a little bit more transparent, or less transparent, so you can't really see the uh, robot mode bits. Well, that's because of my lighting. The reason why I'm not reviewing it um, in my other area is because one of the light bulbs got burned out. So, I'm going to see if I can get it replaced later on. So, yeah, not a whole lot to say in uh, vehicle mode other than it rolls actually pretty dang well. And also, but do you guys like me reviewing uh, here where the lighting is a little bit better because of the shiny uh, space blanket thing? Or the other area? Let me know. Um, I painted the grill in a gunmetal. I wrote the GMC in a Krylon Red Pepper. And I also painted on road armor with a very tiny sharpened toothpick. It may look like an easy feed, but trust me, it's not. So, yeah. Not a whole lot to say. I also painted on the uh, orange lights on the sides of the uh, windshield because the actual truck had that too. Originally, I thought that the lights here were going to be orange, but AB and 4 i told me to change them back, so I just painted them blue again. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Now it's time for robot mode. Now we got Dark of the Moon Ironhide in robot mode, and as you can pretty much see, he's really, really, really huge. For a size comparison, here's a SD Gundam Force Zero figure. And if that's not enough, here's an 8-inch Power Ranger. Yeah, he towers over them both. Then you. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to try my best to keep Ironhide in frame. So, yeah. Um, I, did a I did a few uh, paint apps to the actual head. Like, this one bit right here where his forehead would be. I painted that gunmetal. This bit silver. And uh, this little top bit uh, graphite. You can't really see it that You can't really see it that well. Um, I painted the gold on his head a different color. 
of a different shade of gold, obviously. And I actually painted his mouth plate, um, um, black metallic, and outlined it with the, the silver. And I also painted his actual mouth, um, bolt gun metal from Games Workshop. And also, his electronics still work. And also, I shaved the inside of the cavity where the mouth plate goes down. So that way, the paint won't scrape off. Yeah, and also, that still works too. I, oh, I'm going to have to go handheld a bit. Also did silver right there. Also painted the actual forearms. Um, I added some gunmetal in some parts. Though you can't really see it that well. Though I'm probably going to um, skip to some pictures and uh... I'm probably going to skip to some pictures I took before the review um, while this is happening, so there's that. Also spray painted the whole um, legs in a classic gray. Also had to hand paint the gray on the feet, which is actually pretty dang good on my account anyway. I painted it gold, gunmetal, graphite, silver. All this stuff. Ugh. Sorry, my arm is getting heavy from when I was doing the transformation and holding this guy around. So, yeah, this guy's huge. Um, if you're wondering about the paint hindering his articulation, well, no. His articulation is not hindered in the slightest. Though, I will say, um, Ava, before you actually, um, Twist his leg out all the way. I would recommend twisting it another notch. About right there. Because the last time when I did that, some of the black paint actually chipped, actually rubbed off, so I had to do it over again. So, before you actually do some, uh, like, kick poses like that, just turn the leg a few notches. Oh, yeah. All of his articulation is still good. The, uh, ratcheting... The ratcheting shoulders, bending, twisting. There's also a twist here, but I can't really get it to work. Also, his uh, mech tech weapons also work. His can't still work there. His knees still work. Twisting of the ankle still work. The deploying of the other two mech tech weapons still work. The uh, cannon in his ankle, in his uh, shoulders. And I just shot the missile. Hold on one second. Ah, oh, goody. It landed near my chair. Yeah, you gotta be really, really careful about that missile. It's really easy to blast off. So, yeah. The um, dagger still works. The ankles still work. Also painted the kneecaps uh, different colors. Um, black metallic, gunmetal, graphite. Pretty much a combination of all three. Also added in the gold bolt on his, on his right there, and I just shot the missile again. Dang it all! Like, also did the same thing here with a uh, graphite. You can actually see the graphite a lot better this time. So um, yeah. Not a whole lot to say about Dark of the Moon Ironhide that hasn't been said already. He's pretty much the movie Ironhide toy that we have been wanting for like ever. So yeah, if you'd like to see a better detailed review than this, check out Aviator 4 as review on Collection DX. So yeah, Zeltrex Millennium saying good night and good luck. Later!